M3 4.02 has been released and it works flawless with Blender X. Let's take a quick look at it. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now before we begin, let me quickly recommend, if you're wanting the fully featured M3 or modular tree, you're probably best rolling back to 2.93, generating your tree there and then exporting out the asset. Because as of the moment, there's a lot of features missing, there's no wind animation, there's no textures, you can't use grease pencil to generate a tree, stuff like this. But it's starting to look pretty good and I can see the direction the developers taking it in. So let's quickly jump into Blender and we'll give it a quick spin. Now, when you install the add-on, you might want to enable the legacy nodes. In order to do this, you go to edit, you go to preferences, you go down to experimental and you can see here geometry nodes legacy. Now, I don't know if this is going to trip the developer up later down the line because obviously geometry nodes change the fields. So hopefully it's going to catch this and hopefully it's going to get better. But it's pretty good for generating quick trees. Now obviously there is alternatives out there in the market and Blender Market has you covered. Things like Grasswald, Botanic, Alpha Trees, stuff like this. So you're not really backed into one corner for generating trees. But what we need to do here is change the editor type. We'll go to M3. We'll generate a new node and let's quickly zoom in and we'll quickly add in the measure node and this is the tree measure node and let's zoom in so you can get a better view. Now pretty much like building a tree what we need to do is we need to press shift A and S and we'll search for the trunk. We'll connect the tree to the trunk. It's pretty much building it from the ground up. Please excuse the pun. Now nothing actually happens here until you actually generate something in terms of the node so we can change the seed and you can start to see that it's building the tree. Now we have a few parameters, we can change the length, the start radius, the end radius, shape, stuff like this. Up attraction, so that's essentially gravity. So let's change the up attraction and let's make it slightly bendy, way hey, and let's delete the default cube. Now obviously the next thing we need is branches. So we can press shift and A, S to search and we can select branches here. And we can connect it to the tree and again we can change the seed and there we go, we're starting to get some realistic branches. And I think this is one of the positives regarding M3. I know it is missing a lot of features, but it seems to be a little bit more refined when it comes to generating trees. The branches look a little bit more realistic. The shot actually holds up when the camera's pretty tight in. Now we can change things like the branch length. Just be careful when you're pushing these values. It can become a little bit, not unresponsive, but a little bit sluggish. And obviously we're generating topology on the fly. It's using geometry nodes. So just be careful with these values because it can, it can chug a little bit, it can chug a little bit. And that's us, we pretty much have our tree made. Now, one of the new features is, is we can generate our add leaves. So if we click on add leaves, there we go. We have a whole bunch of leaves. Now these are actually generated using geometry nodes. So if we select the tree, for example, and we go into the modifier options, you can see here we have leaves distributions. It actually tells you the node tree is using legacy nodes. And hopefully the developer can maybe contact someone like Ern and they can maybe update it a little bit. So you have things like the density of the leaves. And one thing I found is you really need to push this up pretty high to get it to be seen in the render. And obviously we can change things like the leaves if we go into the geometry nodes. We have a whole bunch of geo nodes here and we can start to kind of tweak things. But I think for a free application, I think it's pretty damn good to be honest. And like I said, if you're looking for something a little bit more commercial, Blender Market has you covered. Just Google it. Anyway, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.